Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your mic go from this and make it sound like this. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Scorpion here and today we're back at it again with another video. It's been a month, maybe two months. I don't know, but yeah. Before we continue with this tutorial, I do want to say that I would greatly appreciate a sub or just a like on the video if this did help you out in any way. But with that out of the way, let's get on to the tutorial. I also have to say that this tutorial depends on the quality of your mic. Currently, I'm using the Shure SM7B, but if you follow along this video and mess around with the settings that I show you, you should get a great result. Alright, so the first thing you guys are going to want to do is go over to the description of this video, and I'll link uh, this link right up here, and it's going to link you guys to Equalizer APO. It's on SourceForge, and it's free to download. So you're going to go ahead and click on the green download button. And yeah, you're going to run the installer and all that. And it shouldn't take too long at all. After that, you're going to go to the second link and it's going to take you to this site. And it's basically some VST plugins. And with this, these are the plugins you're going to need to uh, edit our mic sound. So go over here to the bottom. It says download real plugs. And if you have an older computer, click 32 bit. Uh, bit my bad or click 64 bit if you're in a new computer so once you guys fully install equalizer apo and the plugins you're going to go over to the bottom left on your windows search bar and type configurator you should see this app so you're going to go ahead and run it and hit yes for administration and you're going to see this you're going to click on capture devices and select the mic that you're using so mine's plugged into an audio interface so i'm just going to select that and once you do that, it's going to ask to install something, most likely. But anyways, after that's done, it's going to ask you to restart your PC. So you're going to have to restart your PC. So after that, you can continue to the next step. So once you guys finally restart your PC, you're going to go over to the search bar again. And this time, you're going to type in Configuration Editor. So you're going to go ahead and run that. And this screen's going to pop up. You might get this not installed to device error. I uh, just hit no and this is not going to be on your screen just ignore that for now you might see a couple of things maybe like one to three like options anyways what you're going to do is select whatever is on your screen by clicking the number you go to edit and delete and just delete everything that's in this area so what you're going to do is I'm going to teach you guys how to step by step edit the sound of your mic so the first thing you're going to do is, you're going to see this button, but it's going to be at the top. You're going to click this, and you're going to go over to Control and Device. Now, once you get that, it's going to be up here. You're going to click on the Select Device, and your device is going to show here. It might be grayed out, so make sure to uncheck this right here, and select your mic, and then click OK. All right, so the next step is to press the plus sign. Go to plugins and hit VST plugin. Now what you're gonna do is uh, hit the open file button and you're gonna see, oh, you're not gonna see this. You're gonna actually have to find this folder called VST plugins. It's usually in C, the C drive, program files, and then you'll see the VST plugins. You click on real plugs and you'll see all these VST plugins. So the first plugin that we're gonna be adding is ReAQ standalone. So you're going to go over here and hit Ryuku standalone and click open. It's going to be up here. So I'm just going to remove this because I already have it. And you're just going to go ahead and open the panel. All right, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you guys the exact settings. Uh, make sure there's only three options here. If there's more or if there's less, make sure to remove or add them so there's only three options. So for the first option, you're going to make sure it's enabled first of all, and I always recommend to apply automatically. But make sure the type is high pass. The frequency is 62.3. The gain is zero and the bandwidth is 1.72. Now the second one is going to be a low pass. So make sure to select low pass. The frequency is going to be 17,000 gain zero and the bandwidth is 1.10. For the next one, it's going to be notch. 200 frequency, negative 2.2 gain, and 2 bandwidth. And then click apply and hit OK. And that's the first effect done. All right, so for a second plugin, you can do the same steps as step one, which is go to plugins and VST plugin 
but this time we're going to be selecting a different DLL. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the file and you're going to go ahead and select riajs.dll. Again, I'm going to go ahead and delete this because I already have it. But once it's added, click open panel and there's going to be nothing here. You're going to go ahead and click load, stillwell, expander. Then you're going to see this. For me, it's kind of glitched out here and I can't really see the numbers, but I'm going to show you guys or I'm going to tell you guys them. So this one right here is going to be negative 60. The next one is going to be 5.7. And then the next one's going to be zero. You don't edit that. And it's going from top to bottom, by the way. So I just told you guys the DB for your threshold, the ratio and the gain. Uh, leave detector input. Detection, you're going to change it from peak to RMS. Attack is going to be 15. And release is going to be 16. So sorry that you guys can't really see this properly, but uh, just do it in order, as I said. Then hit apply automatically and apply and hit OK. So now, uh, as we did before, we're going to go ahead and add a new plugin. Same process as before and click open. This time we're going to do reacomp standalone.dll. Go ahead and add that. I'm just going to do this really quick. OK, and then you're going to hit open panel. And sorry for going too fast, but you can pause and check the settings at any time. So you're going to do negative 34 dB for the threshold. Pre-comp, leave it zero. Attack is going to be 30. Release is going to be 30. Don't mess with these. Just make sure uh, class attack is set and this one isn't. Ratio is going to be four. Knee size is 24. Low pass is 20,000. High pass is zero. And RMS size five. And also guys, make sure not to miss this. Uh, make sure the wetness is plus six. And you're just going to go ahead and apply and hit OK. And now what you're going to see is the next one is the exact same one as before. So you guys don't have to re-add that all. Uh, you're just going to go ahead and select this one. Go to edit and hit copy. And you're just going to go ahead and go to edit and paste. And it's going to duplicate the one we just did. So we have two of them. Basically, we're doubling the effects. All right, so now we're on our final effect. So you're going to go ahead and do the same process as before. And this time you're going to head over here and open up Reacts Comp with an X in the middle right there. So once you open that, let me just quickly delete this. You're just going to open the panel and you're going to see this. So this one, you only want two uh, tabs here. Make sure there's uh, only two. And here's the second for the first one. You guys can pause or just read along. Uh, the top frequency is going to be 250. The threshold is going to be negative 30.9. The ratio is going to be 3. Don't mess with these settings right here. Just uh, make sure to leave it as it is. The knee is going to be 24. Attack 15. Release 150. Arm size 5. And don't mess with the gain. And make sure for all these effects, if there's an active tab, make sure you select that. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Now, for the second tab, the top frequency is going to be 24,000. The threshold is going to be negative 20.2. The ratio is going to be 3. The knee size is going to be 24. The attack is going to be 15. The release is going to be 150. And the RMS size is going to be 5. And make sure it's applied automatically and it's applied right here. Then click OK. And yeah, make sure these are all powered on. If you don't want an effect for some reason, you can just click on it and it'll, and it'll remove it. And yeah, these are the effects I'm using for the mic right now. And it's all live. You guys don't need to edit your audio in post. If you close out of this program, it's gonna still be applied, which is why it's, you don't need to do any post processing. Now, it might not sound good for you. Again, this depends on your mic. So you're gonna go ahead and edit these settings to match your voice best. And yeah, guys, that's essentially it. Um, yeah, you guys have all your noise reduction. You guys have compression. And you just your mic should sound technically at least twice as good as it was before. For me, this is like four times better. And uh, if it didn't or if it made your mic worse, feel free to leave a question in the comments or any concerns or if you guys were stuck. I'll do my best to help you. I'm actually a noob to all this stuff, actually. 
And most of this information I got from another video. So I'll link that video in the description and you guys can go check that out. It's more longer, but it's more in depth as well. And without that video, I wouldn't have been able to make this video. I just made this for people who had the same problem as me and wanted better quality because maybe they spent a couple hundred dollars on a mic or maybe they have a cheap mic and they just want it to sound better. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this did help you out. That's, that's the main goal here. And if it did help you out, I would really appreciate a like rating or a subscription or maybe even a comment saying, hey, thanks for your help because all these things really matter to me. And honestly, I'm just trying to revive my channel. You guys might see I have a bunch of videos and they're just random from years and years ago. So I just, I'm just i just starting to get a proper setup now. I'm gonna start recording often. So if you guys were, are interested in gameplay, live streams, any of that, uh, that's definitely coming soon. And it's definitely gonna be a lot more higher quality with a lot of editing and stuff. Right now, it's not, this video is not gonna be really edited, but I'm gonna get an editor soon, probably. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.